All right, so this is the top five reasons why you should never say anything bad about other people's rides as a car enthusiast. Okay, so number five is we're all at different levels, right? So when you start building, you're here. When you end building cars, you're here. And all of us are somewhere in between, right? So you think about the first car that you built, it wasn't an amazing SEMA build. It wasn't something that Chip Foose would put his stamp on or something like Troy Trapania. I don't think so, okay? So when you're here and you see a guy building a car here, just say, hey, you know what? Good job, man. That's all you gotta say. Okay, so number four is we all have different visions of the perfect ride, okay? Somebody might like a blue car, somebody might like a white car, somebody might like a red car, okay? Everybody has their own vision. Somebody might like small rims, big rims, factory, non-factory, whatever. We all have different visions of what that perfect car is. And we're all probably working towards it as car enthusiasts or vehicle enthusiasts, you know? Some people might even like a car or a truck. So don't make fun of car truck people if you're a car guy. Just say, hey, you know what? Nice ride. Okay, so number three, is that we all have different income levels, okay? You can't expect a guy working at Burger King make a minimum wage to be able to afford a SEMA quality build in when he's 20 years old. It just doesn't work that way, right? And you know, you can't expect a guy who was, who was the billionaire to be a, a you know, enthusiast of, you know, adding a, a little sticker to his car, you know? So we're all at different income levels, so that 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 all opens up different opportunities. Like for me, I built I stiffened the chassis on my Chevelle, but I would have loved to have been able to afford a Roadster Shop chassis. I would love to have that. I, it just wasn't in my budget. So does a Roadster Shop chassis build better than mine? I mean, probably performance-wise, for sure, you know? But hey, you know what? I have a certain income level. I have a certain level of ability. So that's how I built my car. And that's how you built yours. That's how I bet you built your ride. Okay, now number two, is that nobody cares if you don't like their car. Nobody cares that you don't like their car. Nobody cares if you would put different wheels on their car or different color on their car or different interior color. Nobody cares. So keep that to yourself. Keep your friends on your list by not saying those negative things. Nobody cares about your negative comments. Now, number one, may be the easiest one to remember. You learned this in kindergarten. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Just scroll on if you're on Facebook or something like that. You don't have to put a little laughy emoji because you're a jerk and because your parents didn't treat you well and because you didn't get the job you wanted. All you gotta do is scroll on. When you're at a car show, don't be like pointing and laughing, just walk on. It's okay to talk amongst your friends about how you like or dislike certain things about a vehicle, but don't put anybody down. There's just no reason for it. Come on, we're all grown ups here, right? So if you've stuck around long enough to understand that there are five things that you should never do as a car enthusiast to other car people, let me show you the things that I like and dislike about my build, okay? Because I built it all but there's nothing wrong with having somebody else build your car, just to be clear. There's nothing at all wrong with that. It doesn't make my any bigger, you know? Just because I built this doesn't mean anything. All right, so let me show you. Let me turn the camera around and then I'm gonna show you. All right, so the thing I love about this thing is the Kindig door handles. I love the show, it inspired me. I love my door gaps, look at that. This one's really nice too, I love that, you know? I love that I just took the time to do the dash, but I also don't love the fact that I could have made it a little bit better maybe, you know what I mean? Maybe, I don't know, it's, it's always can be better, all right? What I also, what I love is the engine. I love my choice for the blue and, and the, the wrap on there, I love that. But, you know, I'm not sure when I put the engine bay panels on there, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna look really nice. It's gonna be just a little bit of blue in the middle and then on a whole sea of the pewter, which I really like, all right? Things that I don't like is that I didn't exactly do all the bodywork that I probably could have, you know? I didn't do all the fabrication. Like, I changed this core support, so now I've had to go back and cut in, like, stuff for the turbo piping afterwards, which made everything a little bit more difficult to cut that in nice and slow. I wish I had spent more time and did that pre-mock-up. I wish that I had ordered these little parts here, because even though I made this bracket, I didn't realize there's actually four, and the other the interior two are different. So now I'm still going to have to order that kit, which would save me a ton of time. And yes, buying kits and buying parts is much faster and easier than making them. Much easier. But you don't know that until you try. So the things also that I love is that when you look down this car, it's perfectly straight. There's no ripples in it. I love that. 
I love my wheel color. You know, I decided to paint them to match everything because I wanted everything the same. I've seen that on cars. I'm like, man, I want to do that one day. So I did that, you know. And I probably could have spent a little better time cutting that out, but you don't really see it because it's covered up by the, the thing. I wish I had spent a little bit more time on this bodywork right here, though. There's a little, little chip right there that's going to bother me. And, yeah, I wish that I had somebody to do some of this stuff for me. And that's for sure. Another thing that I really like is that I, I smoothed in this right here. A lot of people don't like that. I welded this seam together so it's never going to crack. And then I body filled this in here to a nice smooth contour. I didn't like the hard kind of edge. So I didn't like that. So I did that myself. The trunk area I did, I think I'm pretty happy with. I still haven't figured this out. So no, I, I do plan on making a video on that. I just haven't yet. And those little pieces there, I'm missing one little washer. I'm going to have to make it or have to buy a whole kit just to do that. Oh, and there's the wiring, you know. So there's a bunch of little things that I would do differently. But you know what? I had to grind some of that stuff down. I'm going to have to paint that now. But you know what? Hey, I do what I can do. So my point is that, yes, I'm a little bit further along than some people when it comes to building. And I'm way behind other builders. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm building my car the best that I can. I enjoy it, you know. It's fun. I try to put out videos so people can kind of see like how I did it exactly. So they don't have to try to learn. And it's just, it's just what I'm trying to do. You know, hopefully it works for people. That's what, you know, in a perfect world, that's what it'll do. It'll teach you a little bit about a little thing and maybe inspire you to do something. And I'm sure that it can be done much better than what I did, much faster and probably even cheaper. But you know what? We're all building. We're all learning. So keep on learning, keep on inspiring other car people, other truck people. I've had trucks, I've had cars. I love them all. I've even had motorcycles. My first ride was a motorcycle. That's a whole nother story though. But uh, anyway, yeah, just keep inspiring people. Stop putting people down. Stop trying to make fun of people. That just shows how petty you are. Petty people do petty things, man. Have a good day. Subscribe and like. Also comment all the negative things you hear people say.